What's up? Nothing but this beat down. I'm about to give you right quick. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Yeah, about to be too Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Love going to throw right away. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Off the play fake, Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. 24 yards the gain there. Another first down as well. Love now. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. On play action, love to throw. Able to find his man, Kraft. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going. And they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another. That's going to set up first and goal. And he gets halfway there for the four to the two on a gain of two. Love looking to throw it. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown. Packers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Packers are on the board first here this afternoon. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's running his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, <laughs> and he feels like he can get it done. That's going to be taken in inside the five, but the fair catch will move. That was a game, right? Five yard line. That was a game, right? Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten at their 25 yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. You know, it's a touchdown, right? They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Ah, shit. My bad. Oh, what a run on the outside as it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. No, 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 no. I fucked up on that. I fucked up on that. Rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. Oh, and give me that. Oh, come on. Damn. Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. Doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now a second down throw for Love here. That one caught downfield by Watson. Touchdown, Packers! 
Christian Watson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Eagles Anders Carlson to kick off for the Packers. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Fair catch called for and taken down near the five yard line, and this will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. Go so, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better to try and get back in this game? That one hit for 20 on the catch and run. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Packer pressure and down he goes. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. 63, 63. Hey, thumbs up, alert. Throwing his hurts. And this one too low. Was well, anybody near him? Was he on the sack or what? Was anybody near him? Was he almost sack or what? What happened? In order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. Work in the middle of the field. <laughs> and this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 38 yard line. 13 0 is the score after one on EA Sports. Now, second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. up to throw it. And this is caught. Oh Touchdown. <laughs> Devontae Smith, 38 yards. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches. Cover two, man. Come on, that cover two. You know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athletics... I said cover two. You came on that cover two. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And it's now 13 to 7. To me? All right, all right. <laughs> I forgot you got a you got a two way three way thing going on this little. Second <laughs> now after the touchdown, here's Elliot on to kick it away. Start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. 
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. That is it. Now, the last time out, look at repeat that in Chargers defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Love. They go play action now. He rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 33. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Carlson's extra point up and good, and the lead now stands at 13. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken in just shy of the goal line. Fair catch will move this out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Yeah, he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. But first down, Hurts. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. The handoff. This is Swift. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. No, 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run forward with Pitt. God, man. Oh, damn. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Another try for Penny. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball a third time, but I think it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh. And this has broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today. But they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. They'll drop to throw. Oh, I can from the five falls incomplete and the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line trying to shake off the interception oh, he'll look to throw oh, hit as oh, he my throws goodness. there Damn, I think gonna... there's a lot about that play you could easily see coming backed up in the shadow of their own goal line you know they're gonna face pressure he's lucky his arm was going forward it was close but it was going forward yeah it could have been a safety or even giving up a defensive touchdown right two They'll throw again. Here's Love on second and ten. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here now, third and a yard. Play fake. Here's Love. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Give that sack to the Kobe D. Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. <laughs> On now is the Packers punter. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11 yard line. At their own 11 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. Then we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Off to the races. 
Well, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go into half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. They'll throw now on the final play. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now back to throw. Again, that's Watkins. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Here's a handoff to Swift, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
Let's face it, you want to get back into the game. These are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. And he's brought down to a pretty game. nice game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Eagles are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. The call from Nick Sirianni, let's go for two here, he says. Hertz will throw. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Come on, let's give me a break. Oh shit. Right after the touchdown to extend their fucking game, man. Opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Oh shit. Okay, we're going to do it. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He finds his receiver, Watson. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and three. Play action this time with Love. Rolling to his right. Short throw. He's got Kraft. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. Ready, on the run, ready. had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. <laughs> on first and ten, Love. Get all that be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Love. And he is caught. And a 
will get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Boy, that was a big gamble for them right there. They went for it on fourth down, showed a little chutzpah because they did it with the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this defense is once again unable to stop him. I'm no bitch. And he's gonna go down. He sank back to the 24. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Defense went three four. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a three four you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack. It's oh, oh my team. goodness. Ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy? He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Give him 18 on the play. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Love from the gun. Flushed out right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Nicobe Dean able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it third and goal now as they look for that final touchdown to salt this one away. Receiver left, three to the right. Love, this is third and goal. And this is caught. And that is seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Carlson to kick off for the so now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And this is fielded just short of the goal line, but the fair catch means this drive will begin at the 25. This is first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But first down, Hurts. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Eagles. AJ Brown, 47 yards. And the Eagles get a bit closer. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big time strike. Big time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. So a big play for the Eagles now as they'll go for two. Go, go, go. 
They'll look to throw. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Come on. What the fuck? And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting thing. field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. No time to shine. And he has a Packer first down, and that should be the one that finishes the script. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he'll be a little shy of the 